Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV. And today, oh my God, I look like Anna Brown. Oh my God. I didn't know if I could do it. But there you go. Oh God. One of the best things about Lauren is that she's an actress and she can have so much fun with the acting. I'm talking about Lauren now in the third tense um, because Lauren isn't real. Lauren is just an identity. Lauren is just a personality. I mean, look at that. Look at that hair. 20 quid, guys. 20 quid. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Anyway, <laughs> I do. I look like Anna Brown. I really didn't think that that could ever happen. And she's stunning. And I am sometimes the opposite of Anna Brown. It's so funny. But there you go today. Anyway, I'm not on here to show. Well, I am on here to show ego because when I show ego, then you have permission to be in your ego and be whatever you want to be. But what I'm really here today is um, to say to people, particularly those like me that don't want to get up in the morning, that I know how you feel that I know how you feel. And I come on here with lessons that I learn on a daily basis now. And so the awakening is for you, but the awakening is for me. The awakening is for me. Because when I go on moving on TV, as I say, when this goes on at night, and I sit there and I watch it, I think, wow, Lauren, you got through the day. I am so proud of you. What did you do today? You did an awakening to help people. Well done. You ate. You didn't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. I'm just a girl. <laughs> lonely. Um, you did your visualizations. You got yourself ready for the eviction, the move. Let's not call it an eviction. You discussed everything and you set goals and um, you spoke to the people that are going to get you on a mentorship program there's some incredible things coming into my life that I can't really tell you too much until they're actually happening and you organize I've got live for tomorrow the only thing I haven't done yet is dance you see I don't want to get up I don't want to face the madness I don't want to face the fear, the fact that you're being locked down again. I don't want to face the loneliness. The ego doesn't want to face anything. Doesn't want to face anything. I am not in the vibration of Anna Brown. The body may look at it, look a bit like her today, and I never, never expected to put this on and look a little bit like her today. I just thought I'll try this one today because it's so gorgeous. Look at it. <laughs> I should do a program about wigs, I think. But who cares? If more people watch it because I look gorgeous, then maybe those that only look watch things because it's all on the physical will watch me today and learn something. So these are the things I want to bring to the awakenings. As I go through my day, I keep thinking, the first thing that happens usually is, boom, there's the awakening today. And so today I met Lauren, the personality, the loud, aggressive temper, the one that frightens everyone away, the one that has destroyed lives without realizing it. Not really destroyed lives, destroyed our own lives sabotage. Today I met Lauren, that personality, that seven-year-old child, the angry, the, the, the one that was brought up without a mom, the abandoned, the frightened, the one that was absolutely terrified today. I woke up in her body, so to speak. I woke up in her body. terrified about facing the day, about the eviction, the big move that's coming, 
the huge move that's coming, the eviction, the thing that is the most scariest thing to Lauren. And what she's scared of, she's scared of the cats running out and getting lost because she doesn't, there isn't a garden. She's scared of there's no internet. She's scared, she's scared of all the stress and the pressure that is going to be put on her body. And I will talk about Lauren in the third person. Lauren can stand the fact that this fringe is not perfect. There you go. And, um, you know, she has to move this. A bit like uh, Esther Hicks talks about herself in the third person. I am not Lauren. You are not David or Jacob or Mary or Jessica or Denise or, or anyone. It is just your name, your, your identity, an identity. Look, I'm doing this. <laughs> I do what President Trump does. And people say, oh, you're doing 666. I am not, okay? I'm just doing this because for some reason I was taught to do this to make a point. In Israel, when you grow up and you want to say, wait a minute, you go like that. You just do things, gestures. It doesn't mean <laughs> if I was Cabal, would I have 1,200 subscribers or 1 million subscribers? Do you know what I mean? So if people say to me, I actually took the Maltese cross off. And someone said to me, oh, that's a shame. I really like that. It's very pretty. And But people accuse me of being Cabal. There's the fringe situation again. Put it back, Lauren, make it perfect, perfect, perfect. A character trait. I am not Lauren. Okay? I am a soul or a dust, whatever, an energy that has a lot of problems. Why do you always move your neck like that, Lauren? What's going on with you, Lauren? Because the body, this is a body. This is me. This is a mind that goes boom, 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 boom. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Can't breathe, can't breathe, can't breathe, can't breathe. Needles, faxes, lockdown, lockdown. Oh my God, oh my God, Trump didn't get in. Oh my God, Trump will get in. Oh my God, what does that mean to us? What does that mean to you? Where am I? Who am I? Whatever. Over and over, this and that and that and this and this and that. And it goes on and on and on and on. Is that your head? That's not you. Can you not distance yourself? That is the head. Sorry. <laughs> Perfection. Is it perfect now? Am I perfect? I already did imperfections, didn't I? If I wear the glasses, then I could see better. <laughs> oh my god i prefer myself without them because then you can see inside my soul look me i'm not hiding anything except under a wig because i love them and because of this, it makes me feel good it makes me feel good i feel good everything lauren 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 loves to do the little seven-year-old I'm on the stage now. No, rien, rien. I'm not mad. Very balanced today. Because I had a really good conversation today with my ex-husband about the move. And it was very down to a topic. You see? Now it's perfect. There we go. The move. The big move. God, imagine having hair like this. I always wanted straight hair. My, well, Lauren wanted straight hair because Lauren had curly hair as she was growing up. I always wanted, Lauren wanted to be a blonde because blondes have more fun. Do they have more fun? I don't know. I've always had fun. Lauren has had fun when she wanted, when she went out and had fun. Nothing to do with the color. Actually, the red hair does more fun. You see what goes on with the mind? Please watch this, guys, because I am your mind today. Am I pretty enough? Am I young enough? Am I slim enough? Am I fat enough? Am I, well, you don't usually ask, am I fat enough? But it's continuous. 
How can you get on with your ascension when this is happening all the time? All the time. Boom, 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 boom. From the minute you get up to the minute you go to bed. You close your eyes to meditate. And what happens? There it is. In front of you. I don't feel well. My shoulder hurts. Where's my mom? Where's my dad? It's a war. Why am I not in an air raid shelter? Where's my friends? Where's my mates? Where's my tribe? Where's, where's my meditation? Where's, why can't I be with the people I want to be with? Oh, God. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> As I said to you, I am the opposite to Anna Brown. Not me, Lauren. So today, I saw her. And it was huge fear of eviction, huge fear of a move that Lauren doesn't want to do this move, even though this move is coming with a lot of gifts, a huge reduction in the rent, a beautiful place surrounded by green. I can't say too much, but the synchronicity is very interesting. And I won't say too much. Because the mind is saying to me, if you tell people and you go on and on and on and on and on, you will lose it because their vibration is going to bring them down, bring it down. And guess what? Lauren believes it. And that's why Lauren never achieved anything because she tells everyone everything. This is what happens. And the universe kicks it out. And the reason the universe kicks it out is because their vibration of jealousy, or whatever it is, comes in between her and achieving a goal. Not only that, Lauren becomes complacent. And she doesn't set her goals and carry on and focus. The times that Lauren has achieved her goals, let's take the biggest one, which was no, yeah, Edinburgh, yeah? Lauren got to Edinburgh. The biggest fringe festival in the country, in the world. People come from all over the world to Edinburgh. Lauren set a goal to go to Edinburgh, yeah? And everyone said, oh, you can't do that. You're not famous. How can you go to Edinburgh? You're never, ever, you know, some people are going to ask me if I'm a man because I have big shoulders. Yeah. I did. Someone asked me if I was a man. I have big shoulders. I know. Because I'm a singer and I've developed my lungs, yeah? I presume, and my grandmother had big shoulders, and because I can carry you guys. Small hands, luckily. Very small hands. <laughs> anyway, it's not going well. I'm a woman. <laughs> All woman. I'm an actress. Lauren is doing this one. Lauren. So anyway. So we set our big goals to get to Edinburgh. As I say, that's what Lauren did. And she works day and night, day and night, day and night, small steps, small steps, small steps. And guess what happens? Lauren gets to Edinburgh, sells it out. 100% sells out Edinburgh and gets the best result ever. A wonderful family who are working together and we sell it all out. The best you can imagine we brought on Jacob, Donnie, Amazing people, Ellen and Martin. And we all went as a team and we sold out Edinburgh. And of course, the wonderful guy that helped us sell it, Charles, his name was, from uh, the space in Edinburgh. He sold it with us. So everything worked. Boom, 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 boom. Synchronicity. Boom, 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 boom. One goal after the other. One step after the other. We sold out Edinburgh. So why, and Lauren didn't, she, the way she talked about it was, the only time she talked about Edinburgh was in, in a focused way as a goal. She didn't go out there complaining about it, worrying about it, saying, oh, um, I, my goal is to go to Edinburgh. I'm going to go to Edinburgh. Yeah, she said it, but she had her ducks in a row when she said it. She didn't go out there telling everybody her dreams because the person she did tell told her, you can't go to Edinburgh. You're not big enough. You're not, you're not famous. You're not a celebrity. Where are you going to get the money? And she told that person, and then that was it. She backed back down again, worked with a coach continuously 
got life coaching for free because of her training, and she got to Edinburgh. 100% every single time she set that goal that way, she got there. I'll give you another example. Lauren went out to create, um, to bring a thousand kids on at least to the children's peace film. And she worked with a coach and they worked together. She got these little um, yellow um, pieces of paper, put all her goals on it, all the little steps that needed to happen. Worked with her coach for free because she gets live coaching for free. And if anybody wants live coaching from Lauren, she offers it at the course you can afford or bartering and you will achieve your goal. Got all these little post-its, wrote all the, all the different actions, put them up on the board and bit by bit achieved every single one of them. Even a raffle to raise the money to pay someone to film it. And that's how you achieve your goals. Because you have to have more focus on what you're going towards instead of sitting there like Lauren does and thinks, oh, nothing works out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the move. And then she, she doesn't eat. She doesn't re relax. She doesn't breathe. Okay? So today's session is about why we don't succeed and how much I feel for you guys. And what can you do that's going to move you on? If anybody wants to come and fix my neck, Lauren's body's neck, then I'd be very excited about that. Okay, so let's come back to what I was saying about us. Lauren saw herself in a big way today. And it was in the fear of the eviction, which isn't an eviction. It's a move. And it's not happening. It's happening in Lauren's time scale because she has made an agreement with the landlord who is a very good human being and they have found empathy for each other. He doesn't want to be a landlord anymore. Yada, yada. So today the fear came to the surface and it was loud. I don't want to move, leave me alone, get out of my life. Yeah, not towards the landlord, but towards the husband who's living with his parents because they're separated. So Lauren can grow. And it was, and he can grow. And it's, they're happy, very happy the way things are. And that's how it's going to be now. So um, all the anger and all the fear came out. Oh, you want me to move now? Leave me alone. Uh, the, the body, the mind, I, I can't do this. Look what's happened in America. Look here, look there, look everywhere. I don't have the energy. Don't push me into a move. Yada, 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 yada. Couldn't do it. And loud and aggressive. Sorry, loud and aggressive. A loud, aggressive voice. And suddenly, guess what happened? He started to get very loud. Not aggressive, but very loud, very patient. Very, very patient man, thank God. Um, a very patient man, a very loving man. But they just... It's just not right, you know? And they know that. It's not right. The relationship isn't right. So they split. But a wonderful, wonderful person, a wonderful friend, a wonderful caring man, uh, who the reason they weren't happy together is because they weren't right together in another way as a couple. But as friends, I think Lauren can see beyond that and so can he. So... They're there for each other, and it's beautiful. Anyway, very patient. He's very patiently, but he's living this beautiful life with his parents, very safe, very loved. Mum, dad, sister, brother, you know, family. Lauren can't see them because of the hoax, and Lauren is going to prove more and more that this is a hoax. Get, get in there, get in there. And, and so this man is in total safety, and of course, the anger is coming up in Lauren because she isn't. She's on her own. If she's in safety because she's in ascension and believe it or not, in a space where she's starting to feel safe and can see how things, little ducks are coming into their role. But the body and the mind are going crazy from this move, this extra, extra. No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. And so she gets louder now. And then guess what happens? The mirror. And suddenly she steps back and she's on the phone and she's hearing him loud and aggressive. And 
Is that how you feel when you watch Lauren? Is that why you don't watch the programs as much as she wants you to? Loud, aggressive, a bit, a hard woman. Someone who's angry and aggressive, not because she's not a good person. Lauren is a good person. She's full of love. But do you see the seven-year-old? Do you see the aggressive mother that gave no love? Do you see that Kate Shimriani that Lauren does not want to protect that anymore? However, it's there. And yet again, there was a mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. And Martin became aggressive, not aggressive, aggressive, but his voice is getting louder and stronger and scary. And Lauren sat there and she started going to shock. Oh my God, I can't take the ball. Oh my God, oh my God. Just, just back off, back off, back off, breathe. Leave me alone, leave me alone, breathe. Just back off, please. I can't listen to you, just take a breath. Take a breath. And that's when the magic happened. And I said to him, oh my God, you're me. You're doing what I do, thank you. You've done to me what I did to you. Thank you. And that's, that's it. And I thought, I've got an awakening today. I know what I've got to do. And it hurts. Look, we have identities and personalities. If I say I, Lauren, the body, the personality, that I am at the moment on this planet. The identity that is the body and the mind. The logo was I go on the stage. I do the breakdowns on the stage so I don't have to do them in real life. And that saved my life. It saved my life. And so I would turn up at people's houses and they'd say, Lauren has turned up. It's the Lauren show. Same thing. 10 years ago, I walked into the therapeutic community. It was Guy Sports. It was the 5th of November, the 6th of November. I don't know what day it is. Six, seven, maybe. I can't be up. Six, I think, today. I walked into the therapeutic community. That was my first day of a massive spiritual awakening. No medication. I brought the fireworks. I brought no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought Piaf and Kalas and Lady M. And I brought all the acting and the singing and everything. Everything that was denied. This body, this personality, the Lauren. She couldn't do anything she loved. She didn't know how. She was the ego as landed. And every time she did a show, everyone ran away. I brought it all with me. They said, you brought the fireworks, Lauren. You walked in on the 6th, 5th of November into the therapeutic community and I didn't know what hit it. And every friend that I've lost has said, you turn up with the Lauren show. Now this is the Lauren show. The Lauren show. Am I showing you the difference? because I know the difference now, because I'm in the ascension. And I brought that into the therapeutic community for nearly two years until I got totally in the peace. People tried to get rid of Lauren. No, yeah, the, the Lauren show, I've got life. That huge energy. That rattles everyone, that pushes everyone, that wakes everyone up. In the therapeutic community, people used to run away when I opened my mouth. I used to throw my bombs in there and they'd scatter because that's all I knew. But guess what? I didn't learn because the pain got stronger and stronger. I learned a lot. 
And if you read my story, you know I had a massive spiritual awakening. So massive spiritual awakening in the therapeutic community. I woke up. I didn't know I was going to wake up, but I woke up. A huge, I wouldn't be here now if it hadn't got, if I hadn't gone through it. But 10 years later, 2020, I'm going through another one because of similar patterns that I never learned. Because if you can't go on the stage as an artist, oh, it doesn't matter. You're going to turn up with your friends and you're going to go, I'm here. I love you. Because you're an actor. Not because you don't love them, but because it's embroiled in your, in your body, in your mind, in your heart. You are an actor. It's part of your personality. It's not what you really are, but it's what you've been doing ever since you can remember singing, acting on the stage. And what makes you tick? And yes, probably your addiction, your biggest addiction. Because when you're not performing, like I'm performing, but I'm using this to show you the difference between when you are in your soul, in your space, it doesn't need to perform anymore. So people say I'm fake, but they don't understand that when I turn up and I go, hi, I'm here, I'm happy. Lauren is happy. The personality is just celebrating everything that we are. <laughs> it sounds weird, guys. But I am in what I love, and the soul is about what you love, about creating, acting, singing, dancing. I, I, it's everything, everything, everything. So when people run away from me, Lauren is here. The soul is here. The spirit of creativity is here, not the ego. Because why would I need ego when I turn up with people I love and go, hello, I'm here. <laughs> I want to hug you and hold you. That's not ego. It's not. That is what sings from here, from the spirit that we really are. Why do you think angels sing? Because when you sing, you're in spirit, you're not in ego. <laughs> I'm doing this to show you what the ego is, but it's not always that bad. But it frightens people away. If you made your own program now, whoever's watching this and said, I'm here, I'm David, hello, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you. Can you not see how much I love you? Not because I need you, but because it's natural, it's coming from here. I love you. I've got life. I love you. I love singing that song. I love hair, <laughs> show it, glow it. Long as God can grow in my hair. <laughs> You know, it's, that is not boasting, that is not showing off, that is not trying to frighten you away. It's telling you to come on here or go on your own program and say, I'm here and I am happy because I'm in my strength and I know the difference between when I'm happy and when I'm not. I come on here and I tell you I'm sad. But again, this is not the soul. The soul cannot be happy or sad, but the soul can express itself through singing and dancing and doing what the body loves. When the body's happy, everything's happy. <laughs> Believe me. When your body feels good, when there's no pain, when the mind is calm and the body is dancing and creating, that is the real you. <laughs> And that is not ego. That is not ego. That is not ego. So when people get scared of Lauren, when she turns up and goes, I'm here, 
those who really love Lauren and see beyond and think, wow, we love her so much because she brings possibility. She brings to us what we don't have the guts to do. The people that run away from Lauren are the people that have not achieved their dreams. I spoke to my sister a couple of days ago. And I told her why we never got on. I told her that when I wear these, guess who I look like? Mom, right? I told her to dance. Just dance, do what you love. And I told her to tell my little niece to sing. Sing, because you've got a beautiful singing voice. Stop thinking about my feelings and everybody else's. Guys, do what you love and wake up. And I'm not saying this in order to frighten you away. Sit in front of everyone and tell them the truth of what you really are going through. And if you can, then come to me. I love you guys. The door is always open. My heart is wide open to anyone who cannot express themselves. Come and dance, come and sing, come and laugh. No pressure. Come and eat wonderful food with me. <laughs> Move with me. Let's have a party. There's no lockdown here. There never will be. Do what you like. I've got an amazing show for you tomorrow. I'm moving on TV. Guests, got one or two guests coming on. I've got to sort that out. Please, God, it's going to be amazing. You're going to enjoy it. Young, beautiful young singer who is rising above bullying. She's doing what she feels is right. She went to a supermarket and where everybody was waiting with masks to come in, she sang to them. Those are the kind of people that I want them. Sorry, why do I shout? Why does this body like shouting? Why does Lauren shout? Those are the kind of people that I want to bring on Living on TV. Why does Lauren shout? But then look at President Trump, the most amazing man in the world. If you don't believe it, then check out what's really going on in America, what he's highlighting, okay? He's aggressive. He shouts, I, I think it's the teddy bear. I can't wait to meet him and interview him. But to other people, he's scary. He's aggressive. He wakes you up. Guess who Lauren is? That's why people don't like her. The intention is full of love. I'm doing this for me, for Lauren. I'm doing this for Lauren. I'm doing it for everyone who is scared at the moment. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay only if you take your power back and you stand up for yourself and you do not consent. It's going to be okay if you use this, use this time to find your dream. What do you love? I got kicked off Instagram. But I'm still on Instagram and living on theater, so whatever. That's the way it is these days. I have to be careful. I can't say certain things. That's how life is. But on this program, I say what I want. I do what I want. I wear what I want. I project what I want. Now, I will go on tonight. The most difficult time is usually night because Lauren doesn't sleep very well. I will go on and I will watch this and I think, wow, Lauren, you're amazing. You're in your strength, sweetheart. All we have to do now is help that ag little aggressive, little frightened year old, seven year old to back down. And we have to plan this move. Properly and gently. Not be scared of it, but plan it. Plan it properly and gently to get to the results. And we put Lauren first for a change. 
So I went on here today and I don't really want to come off here. I love it because I'm Lauren is a speaker, Lauren is a personality, Lauren is a, an artist. At some point, moving on TV will be everywhere and you'll be able to learn everything. Lauren came here to teach the body, the personality. Guys, this is a time to shine, to howl, to say I'm here and I have rights and I have life. And this is a time to use your talents, everything, everything that God gave you, everything you came here with, your singing, your dancing, your acting, your creating, whatever it is you do, your healing, your speaking, the light inside of you. You've been given permission to use it. I really hope people watch this one. But whoever watches it, it's whoever's meant to. I will watch it. Lauren will watch it and celebrate. Celebrate the fact that I learned a big lesson today. Lauren learned a big lesson today. She learned more and more about how aggressive she is and how she shouts. And could it be that the shouting is what frightens people away? Charlie Ward doesn't shout, does he? Very gentle, very loving. But it's aggression, it's the ascension. It's all got to come up in order to be healed, doesn't it? How else can Lauren do it? But I think I'm trying to do the awakenings so you can see the contrast. <laughs> Watch Anna Brown. <laughs> you will see perfect peace. Oh, I, she's amazing. I mean, she's so totally 100% in her strength, in her strength, in her I am. So, what can you do today to get through the day if you wake up like Lauren did? I'm going to recommend something for you. There's an app, it's called Envision. Absolutely incredible. Uh, you get it for free. You can use loads of it for free. Just keep practicing the first week, gets you into a vibration of vision. vision visualizing what it is you want because you've got to focus on what you want not on what you don't want there's gratitude on there there's loads of stuff you can get it for free and then if you want to get it i think it's something like 50 pounds for the whole year and then you can do the extra foundation i've moved on to the second one now and it, it really is anchors you it takes you to the place where you want to go and where you can stay so if you're feeling low you anchor yourself like I kind of taught you and you think of something that makes you laugh or something that makes you strong like I've got life or dancing or this is the dawning I am Aquarius I watched another version of hair last night absolutely brilliant I love it until it gets to the end of this which is pretty bad pretty sad not the not the kids not the performers not the music but what they're trying to show us, how we lose our loved ones and more. I can feel it. Okay, so, you know, that's what we're working for. That's what we're standing up against. I won't say fighting because fighting is what we want to end. We want to end. So get in vision. It's a wonderful app. And make sure you do your holds. Don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely or too tired. Put on a wig and dance or sing or act or do an awakening. And there's so much I want to teach you, but I'm going to end it there because if I don't, you're not going to watch it. It'll go on and on and on. And I have to do the, I haven't eaten yet. Don't get too hungry. So this could be, again, an addiction or a distraction of some kind. <laughs> so what? So I'm addicted to wigs. Lauren is addicted to wigs. She's addicted to 
looking good. So what? Isn't that a good thing? If it helps your confidence, guys, there are good addictions and not so good addictions. Work on them. You'll figure it out. If you're in your strength and okay, a good addiction is something you don't have to rely on anybody else except yourself. You can get up and you can do it in the moment. And if it makes you feel good and it gives you a, a message for being here and, and makes you feel like you're here for a reason and you're helping other people, that's a good addiction. <laughs> okay, because you rely on this in the moment. Okay, I can get up. I can put on a bit of lipstick. I can put on a wig. I can sit here and I can do an awakening or tarot reading or Baba Bertha, you know, uh, which I haven't done for a while, comedy. Or you can do something like I did where I contacted Nicholas Hamblin, did an interview about what's really going on with the election. If that makes you feel good, that's not an addiction. People have a misconcept about addiction. Sometimes guys were not addicted. You know, people have said to me, I'm an addict. And I say, why do you think you're an addict? Oh, I'm an addict because I want more chocolate. And, you know, um, and uh, I wake up and I think of chocolate. And I go to bed thinking of chocolate. And I say to them, okay, right. Who told you chocolate is bad for you? In moderation? No. Chocolate is okay. As long as you don't eat it all day and all night and live on it. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from? I'm not talking about taking drugs or drink. But people think they're addicted. It, it, you know, you're not always an addict. It's a throwaway label, just like everything else. Maybe your life has not been congruent where you haven't had, like we are mind, body, spirit, yeah? And there are certain things we need from life. We have chakras. There are certain things we need in life that because we have a physical body, you're living in a physical body. There are certain things you need in life, yeah? It's not always an addiction. Everything is about balance. Bring balance in and that's it. You bring balance in and you create the life, then you get the life that is good for you. So if I sit here all day and all night and do the awakening, that means I'm running away from something. If I sit here all day and all night eating chocolate, it means I'm running away from something. If I go on dating sites all day and all night, it means I'm running away from something. Do you know what I mean? If I, I'm just giving examples. If I drink all day and all night, it means I'm running away from something. If I come on here and all I do is wear different wigs all day and all night and do programs continuously from moving on TV, I'm not a saint. Because I'm not meditating. I've already done some meditation. And that, of course, with life has shown me what I needed to do today. So I love you guys. I love you with every breath of my body. Even when I turn up and I go, hey, I'm here. It's because I love you. Not because I'm trying to scare you to hide under tables and run away. It's because I'm here to wake you up. So wake up and do what you love, for God's sake. Do what you love. Stand tall. I do not consent. Sing and dance and act. Because that's what I'm doing. And it's not an addiction. It's a stairway to the soul. I got to my soul, to Lauren, in there through singing when I was 13 years old. The only time I knew that I was more than a body. Sometimes you need to do all that stuff to create and create from a certain place just to get to that area where you know what you really are. You've been put here with talents. They're called God-given talents. Go out there and live the life of your dreams. Unhinge yourself in a positive way. Did you see that lovely meme of that bird that's flying? That's me. Flying. When other people with masks or whatever are sitting in their cage thinking, oh my God, they're going to get into trouble. Oh my God. Oh, look at him. Because that bird is alive. That bird is flying. That's me. I'm flying. I'm dancing. I'm having fun. 
And I'm also going through a lot in life. Evictions and loneliness and fear and panic like the rest of us. Butterflies in the tummy. IBS. Learning, 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 learning. So I come on here because I want you to be happy. So you can learn. You be the bird that flies out of their cage. <laughs> be the little bird that flies. Fly out your cave and go, I've got life, mother. I've got love, sister. I've got freedom, brother. I've got good times, man. I've got crazy ways, daughter. I've got million dollar charms, cousin. I've got headaches and toothaches and bad times too, like you. I've got my hair, I've got my hands, I've got my feet, I've got my toes, I've got my eyes, I've got my nose, I've got my back, I've got my blood, and I have a clue, it doesn't matter. I've got my knees, I've got my legs, I've got my toes, I've got my feet, I've got my eyes, I've got my head, I've got my ass, I've got my, <laughs> I've got my horns. It's too high, it doesn't matter, the voice, the ego, the, oh, you can't go there, you don't know how to do the twang. I've got my hair, I got my ass, I got my fingers, got my legs, you see. Got my feet, I got my toes, I got my liver, I got my blood. Yes, I can go there. I've got life and I've got freedom. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. The opposite of Anna Brown. Have fun with it. I love you. Come on, bring on TV. Join I've Got Lives tomorrow on YouTube and Facebook and the universe. And if you can fix my neck, I'm here. Please, anyone who can fix my neck, I'll be very, very, any Reiki healing you can send me. Come and fix the body because I can't get this neck to sort itself out or the shoulders. That whiplash accident but also the body, piece of meat, working on it. Love you lots, guys. And <laughs> this will make me laugh tonight, and this will give me a lot of courage to go out there and to set the goals that I have set. And God knows you're going to hear a lot about moving on TV or moving on theatre in the ascension. Join us. <laughs> Sorry, I get aggressive. Well. When you belt and you sing, I've got life, it's loud. I'll leave it at that. Bye. I'm here on TV1 at gmail.com. Do your best to still try to achieve. Do something today if you can, set a goal and, and stay in hope. My name, so we can get the glory. Thank you.